Okay, long one yesterday, short one today. That's just sometimes how the dice lands, how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, a lack of prep time may be affecting your confidence. Lack of time to uh, prepare mentally or effort to prepare mentally. Perhaps you're tired, maybe you're under the weather, in pain. You're coming back to the microphone after a break. A holiday break, a vacation, maybe maternity leave or, God forbid, some kind of illness or accident or other upset. There may be distracting life events in your head that you're mulling over, you're musing, you're ruminating on. Deaths, illness, relationship breakdowns, financial pressures. Even if you can't step away from these physically, try and do so mentally from the editorial process in the newsroom or studio, the talk and the technicals. Prepare for your performance, the message and the mood, the pace, the pronunciation and all of the other keys to communication that we've spoken about before. You know, research suggests that how much we experience mic fright can be down to factors such as anxiety partly inherited through your mum's hormone levels, parental obsession with your practising exams and career success when you were growing up, and parental criticism or demands to be quiet. Yeah, how much we experience mic fright can be down to those three factors. I said research, you want to know where that is? I list it in today's show notes. Tomorrow, Mike, flight and fight as we talk more about Mike Fright on Get A Better Broadcast podcast and voice over voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>